So now in this video, we're going to discharge a capacitor with a current source. It will be a steady current, and in doing so, we will get a voltage ramp. Well, we're looking at the voltage with the oscilloscope. As soon as I release the switch, when I press the switch, the capacitor will instantly charge as long as we have enough current from the power supply. And uh, But pretty much instantly charge, and when I release the switch, then which uh, when the switch is pressed, current will start also going through the uh, current source but the capacitor will be fully charged. I release the switch, then current will be provided by the capacitor. It'll discharge through the uh, current source and discharge its voltage will go down as it discharges. That's how capacitors work. And we'll have a steady ramp right there because it'll be a steady current. It won't get quite to zero volts, but uh, pretty close because it takes a certain amount of voltage across the component for any current to flow. It doesn't just keep flowing until uh, all the voltage is gone. But in any case, we'll look at some quick math to get a feel for the uh, timing. And so, if we were using a super capacitor at uh, one farad, and we were either charging it or discharging it at one amp, we would get a one volt change per second. In fact, that's how they figure out what uh, the capacitance of capacitors is. And uh, so, if it's one one thousandths or 1000 microfarad like we have here, which is the same as a millifarad and the current is one milliamp which we have here again It's one divided by one other than the decimal point movement right there But again, it's one volt per second. So that makes the math easier Larger value capacitors for a given current take longer smaller values go quicker and uh, if you have a set capacitance larger currents go faster smaller currents take longer and so here we come to the circuit this is the LM334 it looks like a transistor we got the R pin in the middle the V minus pin at the bottom flat side is to the left V plus pin is at the top the switch here the bottom part goes straight across so it's connected to this 1000 microfarad capacitor which is in the other end the negative side is to the negative rail right there so there's a direct connection from there it goes up across that jumper down to there electrically that is the same connection right there we are going to measure the voltage across the capacitor so I'll move this these alligator clips are clipped to the oscilloscope and we'll just go right to the uh, capacitor if I put this over there we would get the same reading but uh, we'll leave it there so this is a 68 ohm resistor which is what we need a 68 or a 64 ohm resistor with the LM334 will give us one milliamp and we have the positive supply up there to the top of the switch. So now the power supply is set to eight volts because of the last video. Let's go to seven because the capacitor will charge up to eight. That'll be at the very top of the screen and which is also where the line will be if it goes above eight. So we'll just go down to a seven to make things a little more obvious. I have the current increased so that the capacitor charges instantly instead of having a little bit of a de delay. We looked at that in a recent uh, video when I tried to instantly charge a capacitor we didn't have the current up enough. But in any case for the rest of this we'll just look at the oscilloscope. Again we have the voltage across the capacitor there which is not completely discharged. It is not down to zero volts. I'll put this to the uh, negative rail quickly. There you can see it goes to zero. So that voltage is across the capacitor because I already did this. So I'll press the button you can see it charged instantly to 7 volts. Looked like it may have had a slight delay right there. But in any case, there you can see the ramp going down. And it's taken about a second per volt until it got uh, completely discharged to where the uh, current source isn't really letting current flow through anymore. But there you can see about a second, about a volt right there. And uh, so should be a little more than 6 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we're going to swap the 68 ohm resistor for a 10 ohm resistor which is going to give us a little bit less than 7 uh, milliamps of current because it's about 1 7th of the resistance approximately. But in any case it's going to take about 1 second to go from the uh, fully charged to uh, discharged as the power supply is concerned. We'll hit that button and look at that waveform and there you can see it right there. So I'll try to pause it right when we get I guess to the middle there but there you can see 
that uh, I actually shrink the positive there. Let's do another one. And uh, we'll let it drop down. And we'll pause it right where it started dropping. That's what I should have tried to do. And there you can see, just uh, briefly before a second, it's going somewhere around uh, seven times faster because there's more current for the same uh, capacitor. But in uh, any case, that's really about it for uh, this demonstration. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm going to post to the screen. And uh, click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.